fine, you know, you know Ask me what I'm doing just Friday Haters wanna hate, let them hate, never mind them Be more pins, tryna reach the next plateau And I can't stop till I achieve my goals Keep a couple feeds inside the phone door So official with the vibe, you can pick up my zone Hold on for a minute, let me count mine, you know Okay guys, so I am in home number four. Now this time, I know somebody said in the last video to hold the camera up a little bit. This house right here, people actually are still moving out of this house. So I'm gonna try to do my best to show the house without showing their personal stuff because I wouldn't want anyone showing my personal stuff. But this is the front room, guys. As you guys can see, it is equipped with hardwood floors as usual, which is something that I am definitely 100% accustomed to. Um, what fascinated me about this house is when I pulled up, seeing the front yard just blew my mind. So walking into this home right here, the front room jumps up out, jumps out at me. This right here is something that I really do like. You know, I do like this front room. I'm gonna stand over here by this kitchen area, give you guys a whole lot better angle of the size of this front room. It's hard to get dimensions when you vlogging, but yeah. So that's what it looks like when you come into the front room. You have a window right there. You have another window right there off to the side. What really attracts me to this is because you guys know how I am about lighting. Speaking of lighting, guys, this, this house right now, it has no power. All the power's off. Apparently, whoever moved out this house had everything transferred over to their new house or their new apartment or whatever the case is. So this right here, it has two ceiling fans in the front room. This one right there has another ceiling fan right there and both ceiling fans also have one two three lights on them so that is a plus if i were to go with this home that's a plus because lighting is everything so anyway we're gonna go ahead and take a gander here and see so this is the front room again guys so when we come into the house i believe in that's like an alarm system okay again there is no light power in this house so I'm gonna be very limited on what I'm gonna be able to show you guys. But this is, let me see here. Yeah, this is the laundry room um, right here. I'm thinking this is the garage. Again, forgive me for the lighting. Oh, and you can't see anything, but this is the garage. And let's see, right here is a, uh, okay, so this is bedroom number one. It's a very small room. When they build these houses, they build them with the assumption that, of course, you're gonna have children. And so that's why I believe some of these houses are so small the way that they are. Um, so we've got a closet right there. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time at this house, guys, because I'm actually gonna go look at another house as well today. Just to give you guys just a little Okay, so we're gonna make this like a kind of like a quick tour for this because it's too dark and I want you guys to be able to see. This is bedroom number two. It has a window right there. Of course, ceiling fan with three lights. We have a restroom right here. I sure hate that there's no power. We have a closet adjacent to the restroom. Ooh, I hope that's not rope spray. Oh, okay, that's some type of wood spray. Looks like they made an attempt to clean the floors. Okay, so this is the kitchen area, guys. Um, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Yeah, I'm, I don't want dark colors in my kitchen like that. Um, the brown is okay, but I'm looking for like a more lighter brown kitchen. So, I'm not for sure. Yeah, this is something I'm not... I'm not really impressed with this kitchen. I mean, it is a very big kitchen, but it does have a privacy fenced in backyard. The other homes, I didn't show the backyard because there were schools in the district, literally right behind the homes. Right here, so here's another house. It has the refrigerator, it has the microwave and the stove. There's no refrigerator. So we're gonna go in this room right here. Oh, this is a four bedroom. This is another bedroom. Small bedroom, of course. And then we have what looks like the master bedroom. Okay, this is the master bedroom right here. Looks like they are still moving out, so 
You have another big restaurant right here. Nope. Oh, I'll just go in here for a second. I'm so scared of spiders, guys. That's why I don't like walking into dark homes. Spiders, I am terrified of spiders. Literally terrified. And we have a huge walk-in closet. Oh my God. This is probably the best closet I've seen since home shopping. This, again, you guys, I probably got over 100 pair of shoes and slides. And uh, my clothes is just stupid. I got clothes in freaking garbage bags and stuff that's in store, like stored in the closets and stuff in my other house. So that's just a huge closet that would be suitable for everything. But anyway, guys, again, this is house number four. I'm really not impressed. So we are going to go ahead and head over to house number five. So I'm going to see you guys when I get there. Okay, guys, so we are at home number five on the search list. Walking into the house, this is, this is different. Everything was like brown hardwood floors. This is another one where you walk in the front door, it's pretty spacious. Thing that jumps off, jump out at me is this house has power. See the stove, the, the clock is on the stove. So anyway, this is the front room, guys. not too bad it's not too bad they got these dark um, blinds like my other house has and it also has a fireplace it's not bad back door right there hmm wow this is so this would be the front room it just seems a little weird but anyway this is the kitchen this is the kitchen area guys right here Again, this is definitely a kitchen I could probably work with. Oh, look at that. We do have light. Let there be light. Okay. We have the sink right there. We have a dishwasher, which is not bad. Mm, we have a stove. Of course, we have the beautiful microwave above the stove once again. Um, stove looks fairly new. Either it's fairly new or they cleaned the living hell out of it which is a good thing. So right there is where the refrigerator goes. Of course, no refrigerator. I have a closet right here in the kitchen. A lot of shelves, a lot of storage room for different canned goods and stuff like that. Snacks, like a pantry. I think pantries are good. <clears throat> and this is what it looks like from this view right here. So, this is the kitchen I, I seriously think I can do some pretty good cook, some pretty good cooking videos in. One of the things that really was really interesting is when I pulled up, seeing the front yard was really nice. Um, but I'm not going to show the front yard. There's certain things that I'm not going to show, guys, just for my safety. Um, people seem to love to leak addresses nowadays. I guess that's the new YouTube thing. The new YouTube thing is leaking people's addresses. And we have a garage right here, which is pretty nice. It's a lot cleaner than some of the garages I've been in recently. Hmm, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Floor doesn't look bad. There's no cigarette butts like it was at, I think, house number three. Okay. And right here, we have the closet hallway with the gold doorknobs. Not bad, not bad. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, this is for the laundry. This is the laundry supply room. I like the fact that they got these slide these uh, doors to slide open versus the ones to just open and close. So I'm, I'm kind of digging that laundry room. So I'm going to say this is bedroom number one right here. Again, every room in here got those dark shades, which I don't mind that because once again, I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but you guys know I love my privacy. And in this bedroom, we have Look at the size of that damn mirror. Good Lord. We have the, excuse me, right there. Bathtub right there. No shower, what? What? No shower, even apartments have showers. Anyway, oh, okay, hold on for a second. Oh, there we go, there we go. Remember I was saying the sinks has a his and a her sink. Okay, there's the shower right over yonder. Okay, wait a minute, hold up, hold up. We have all this space over in the restroom. Man, you can literally make a freaking bedroom out of this or office space in here. 
Okay, so that's not bad. So I'm going to go ahead and just assume that this is the master bedroom with the bathroom and the shower. Kind of start on me there when I didn't see a shower in there. But, so that's just one of the rooms right here. I'm gonna try to make this quick, guys, because your boy is not feeling good at all. I'm, I'm really not feeling good. Come across this room. So this house is a little bit smaller. Okay, here we have another bedroom, bedroom number two, right here. And again, we got the ceiling fan. We got the brown shades. Privacy is a good thing. We have the closets with the gold doorknobs on it. Let's see what we got. It's not bad. It's really warm in this house though. It's very warm. Going down the hallway, we have a, another restroom, guys. Excuse me, right there. A one person sink. And we have a bathtub right there. So this house is actually smaller than the other houses, but this is not bad. Um, I'm all about being conservative, especially when it comes to bills and utilities. So, and I'm just a fanatic for ranch style homes. And this is their own number three. We do have a fenced in backyard. Ooh wee, okay, okay. We got the little fire pit back there. So anyway guys, this is it man. This is house number five. No hardwood floors in this house. Oh, we got a closet over here. We might as well take a gander in there while we in this room. That's it. I think that was really all to show guys. Um, there's another closet I didn't show you guys. Another hallway closet. Some of the houses I had been in recently, well one of them had bugs all over the floor. And I was hoping I didn't get that in the video. I did, but you guys didn't really, probably didn't catch it because nobody really commented. So this is it guys, this is really, really small. This is a very, very small home. But even though it's a small home, it's very comfortable. I think with this one, man, I would probably say yeah, yeah, but I'm not for sure. We'll see, we'll see. Some of the other ones, I feel like when the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth one doesn't go, it just means that God has a whole different plan for me. But um, yeah, this is something I may be interested in right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these lights back off. I don't wanna be burning up nobody's bills. So I, yeah, I think I showed you guys everything that there is to see. Just... It's the kitchen over here. No refrigerator. A lot of homes out here, man, you have to get like your own appliances. Why? I don't know. Where I'm from? Well, I can't really say that. I like, I know like most of the apartments where I'm from, you um, have your own stove and refrigerator. Kitchen's pretty big, but it's just not big enough for what I'm needing it for. As you guys know, I've been talking for a while about bringing cooking videos back. So the kitchen is extremely important. White cabinets is not bad. It's a lot better than the color that I'm used to having, but it's not exactly the kitchen that I'm looking for that I want to start doing cooking videos in. Although it is a pretty decent little kitchen from what I'm seeing right now. which is good because most of the houses don't even have blinds up so let's see what's over here so that's the kitchen area this this looks pretty nice right here like where you can serve the food at like hey dinner's ready and put the place up on the counter right there that's pretty cool but again it's just not what i'm looking for so let's go on guys and go back here not for sure what this is right here. This looks like a little, oh, I know what this is. 
This is a little office area right off of the front room area. So basically, you got this long shelf right here, or whatever, whatever the heck they call it. And that's like an office area. I'm just gonna assume that that's an office area right there. So let's go check out the bedrooms. So, okay, this is bedroom number one. Wow, this is a pretty big bedroom. It's a very big bedroom, very big. See what that backyard looking at. I don't wanna show that right now, guys. But, okay, pretty decent. Okay, this is one of the bathrooms. I think this is, has two bathrooms in it, okay. Not bad, not bad. A little bathtub sitting off to the side. A little shower. This is cool. But again, the house that I pick out, I'm gonna actually be here for a very long time, so I'm not for sure what this room is right here off to the side. Let's see. Oh, it's a walk-in closet. It's a walk-in closet area. All these houses got them ugly yellow lights. I'm looking for, well, I guess you can always change your light bulbs. Uh-oh, blur it up. I'm actually trying to, like, I wanna get in my house, I wanted to have like all white lights in it, like the real bright lights. Because I do like do a lot of videos and stuff. So I'm going to just assume that this, I'm going to assume, just assume, that this is the master bedroom right here. I'm going to assume this is the master bedroom. Trying to get back so you guys can see the full size of the bedroom. I'm gonna go over by the closet so you guys get another angle of the bedroom. I'm guessing this is the master bedroom. I could be wrong. I haven't been into the other room yet. But yeah, so this is one of the bedrooms. Okay, so that was one of the bathrooms right there. And again, I think this is like a little office area, which is actually pretty cool because but again, I'm a type of person when I'm filming, I like to have my privacy. So this is really wide open, but it's still pretty cool though. So back here, what is this? Okay, we have another restaurant. Okay. Hey, I keep that blue stuff in my toilets too. Well, I try to in a way. So this is another restroom, a very small restaurant. Let's go, I'm not for sure. Okay, that's the alarm system. That must be like the thing for the heat and stuff. And right here, we have another bedroom, guys. So this is actually a two bedroom. It's pretty cool, but... Oh, wait a minute, guys. To my surprise, I was wrong. It's a three bedroom. There's another bedroom. So this is one of the smaller rooms. Look like it could be a room for like kids or something. You know, come in here and tear up. It's not a whole lot of room, which is good. Cause when kids have their own room, the less space they have, the less stuff that you have to clean up, which is good. So, oh, it also has a ceiling fan with it too. So let's go into, see what this is. Okay, we have another closet, uh, like a little storage closet. Even though it's not in the kitchen, you can still use this closet for like tiles or extra canned goods and stuff, which is pretty cool. Right here, we have the third bedroom. So this is the third bedroom. This is actually another small room. What I do like about this house right here is the floors. The floors look pretty decent though. But again, I don't think it's like what I'm really looking for. This is another small walk-in closet, but I won't really say walk-in. Let's see if I can walk into it. Uh, I'm in there though. Is it a light in here? There's no light in here, man. What's up with that? But it does have a ceiling fan in this room. So all the rooms so far have ceiling fans in it. Let's see. Did I look in this closet yet? Okay, this is an okay, this is another closet. So 
You have one closet right there. What they do that? Why didn't they just make this one big closet? Oh, it is one big closet. All they did was, oh, okay. That's weird though. They got one big closet, but they got two doors in it. Come in this door. Then come right back out this door. Really? So that's what that looks like. I don't know. So let's see, is there anything else to see? Oh, what is this door? Oh, okay, this is us. Ah, obviously, obviously, obviously. Now we know what this is. This is the laundry room because that's your cold water and hot water hookup. Plug in for the dryer, rust machine. This is if you have a gas dryer. Okay, you have temperature control in this room. You also have another rack right here. And I'm assuming this door leads somewhere. Okay. This door leads, what the hell? Oh, okay, this is the garage. This door leads to a garage, so, which I'm accustomed to having because I do have a couple vehicles. So I'm definitely accustomed to having my own garage. So this is cool, got the hot water heater right there in that corner. Yeah, so this is, like I said, guys, this is my first journey on the first home that I'm looking at. I will be looking at others this week. That's going to be more high end, more to my satisfaction, if I can say that. Basically, I want to be as comfortable because, like I said, wherever I go next, I'm going to be there for a while. So anyway, guys, this is going to be about it for this little tour. Um, again, this is not what I'm looking for. I am looking for at least two to three bedrooms, very spacious, but I'm looking for a ranch style home. I don't want an upstairs in my home. I want just a big, long ranch style home downstairs with a two guard garage. This is nice, but I need something a little bit bigger, a little bit better. Okay, guys, so I am in my second home. Oh, a FedEx package already? I don't even live here. Why are they sending packages already? Now, this right here is different. They have a laundry room right at the freaking front door. Okay, bro, they got a laundry room at the front door. This I've never seen before. So I guess since we're in this area, I'm sorry, guys, I can't, oh, here's the light. Here we go, okay. So this is the laundry room right here. Right as you come in the front door, this is the laundry room. That is so freaking different. I've never, ever seen that. Sit in the front room, listening to laundry. I've never seen that. So anyway, while we're right here in this area, we might as well see what this door is. And I believe it's the garage. And I believe I am right. Cigarette butts on the ground. What the hell? Anyway, enough all that. So this is a nice size garage. Um, very nice size garage. But one of the first things that stood out to me is when I walked in the front door. Now, it wasn't the laundry room. I mean, that's kind of weird. A laundry room right here at the front door. That wasn't the thing that jumped out at me. The thing that jumped out at me is once I walked in the front door, bam, this is like... This is all you have to the front room. But again, I just walked in the door like a minute ago, guys. So um, I'm not gonna judge the book by its cover. So this is the front room. The crazy thing is I have a couple sets of furniture, so I guess it wouldn't be too crazy, but I definitely, oh, wait a minute now. Wait a minute now, wait a minute. I'm gonna take you guys in there real quick to see what I see. Okay, okay, things is changing. So this almost reminds me of my cousin's Tina house. It's a, she has a very nice house. When you walk in her front room, she has like this beautiful, amazing furniture set in her front room. But that's not where she really allows people to sit at. My mom had one of those rooms where she had furniture with the plastic over it. You're not allowed to sit in this room. So that's that right there. So this is the, what you see when you walk in the front door. And now let's go, will we go to the left or should we go to the right? Let's go to the right first. So I'm assuming this is bedroom 
Number one, the small bedroom. Looks like it might need a little bit more cleaning. Ceiling fan, of course. I'm believing every house down here has a ceiling fan. Window right there, I don't really want to show the window because this, this is, um, I don't want to show too much. Walk-in closet, of course. Little sliding doors to the walk-in closet. I actually like the slide doors better than I like the doors with the knobs on them. Because I hate bumping to freaking door knobs. Then right here down this hallway, guys, turn some little light on here. We have another bedroom. Hey, let's go. Small as hell. I know my, just my bed would be, man, listen, my bed would take this whole entire room. Literally, my bed. But again, this has the sliding closets. So that's pretty cool right there. We have one bathroom right here. I don't know how many restrooms this house has, but you know, a little spot right there and a wishy-washy clean yourself off spot right there. We have a bathroom closet, which is something that I'm really not used to having as a closet in my freaking restroom. So that's, that's pretty cool. So let's go into the house guys and uh, get a little deep off into this house. So we look off here and we have the kitchen. Okay, this right here is not insanely bad right here. Where's the light at? This is not insanely bad for what I have planned to do. This right here is not bad, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This is not that bad. Okay, so you got the counter space, which I really, really like. I love this right here. I love this. I'm gonna tell you why. This house, now the first house I looked at had the same type of counter, but this is a lot longer and a lot wider. You have the front room. Well, I'm gonna show you guys that in a second. But there's a reason why I really like this and I'm really, really feeling this right here. You have a stove right there, microwave above the stove. It's just like house number one. No refrigerator, man, they is so freaking stingy. But this kitchen is not that big. But it's almost perfect for what, oh, we have a dishwasher right there. I'm scared to open it up, but let me. Oh, okay, it's clean. It's not too, too bad. I've seen, you know, some pretty bad dishwashers in my time. So you got a nice electric stove there, which tells me guys that this house is electric. I cannot freaking stand gas. Microwave again above the stove. You have these brown cabinets, which is a lot better than the green cabinets and as far as the kitchen, why the kitchen is so important to me, I don't want a monstrous, crazy monstrous kitchen. I just want a nice size kitchen. Like this right here, pretty decent nice size kitchen where I can do like cooking videos and I can like prep everything. Like right here, if I wanted to prep stuff on this counter, my onions, peppers and all that stuff, I can prep. The stove is not far away. Everything is in far, uh, uh, easy reach for me to grab. Like the sink, I can grab it, turn the water on and rent something off real quick which somebody didn't pay their water bill, of course. But one of the things that I really do like, guys, is right here. This is the front room. So apparently, this is the real front room right here. The other one startled me a little bit when your boy walked in and seen that, but I am used to the hardwood floors. I am. This is something I have accustomed, have become accustomed to is hardwood floors. And now I have this own remedy that I use I did a video yet last year about how I clean my hardwood floors. So I'm actually used to hardwood floors. One of the features that stand out for me in this house is right here. This house has a fireplace. The house that I'm currently in also has a fireplace. However, it's not really visible. It's like a black board in front of it. This is a real fireplace. So that's something I'm kind of feeling right there. And you got this shelf right here above the fireplace. Where you can put a lot of stuff above, which is pretty dope. And of course, there's a television mount on the wall. I'm not for sure what size of television that wall mount is made for, but um, but yeah. So again, I was back door, but I don't want to really show the backyard. And yeah, privacy is privacy fence all the way around. That's something your boy is definitely feeling. I love my privacy. You guys always hear me talking about getting my privacy and having my privacy, and most importantly 
maintaining my privacy. Right here, there's some doors off right here to the kitchen with these gold doorknobs. Let's see what is in here. Okay, this is more um, more kitchen area. Uh, racks and cabinet space in the kitchen, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's a lot. This one of them pantries is a big one. You can put a lot of stuff in there. A lot of stuff. So I hope those two little bedrooms I seen when I came in wasn't it. So let me turn around so you guys can see the better view of the kitchen and why I like this kitchen so much. Imagine sitting here watching a good movie on television. Imagine that. You're sitting here watching a very good movie on television and you got your furniture all laid out all about and you sitting here making your food. Baby, come up here. Here's your steak. You know, here's your eggs. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm just feeling it. And right here will be a good angle for a tripod for cooking videos. Like, that would be nice because you can see everything clear as day while you're moving around and talking. I like to move around and talk in my videos. I just like the whole entire setup. I mean, I do like the entire setup. So that's, that's actually pretty different for me. So I'm kind of feeling that right there. So let's go back here and see what we got. What is this? What is this? Okay, this is another small closet. I don't know if it's like a utility closet. Maybe just a closet for random stuff like coats and jackets and stuff like that. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Because that first room I walked in had me start the first two bedrooms. So this is actually a three bedroom house. Now we're talking just a little bit. So this, I would believe, is definitely a master bedroom, guys. Let me stand back so you guys can get a better angle of everything. This would be the master bedroom. That's what I'm talking about. Now, my bed would definitely fit in here. My whole entire bedroom suit would fit in here. And I have a very big bedroom set, as you guys have already seen. And yes, I am bringing my bedroom suit, whichever home I decide to choose. Wow, look at this. You got a decent bath, okay. Oop, let me turn that off, look at this. This would have been dope if it would have had two sinks, a his and a hers, you know. But anyway, you got this big spacious restroom right here. I mean, this, space, this restroom is humongous. This is right off the bedroom, guys. You got a shower right there, small window up there, the bathtub right here, of course. You have one, two, three, four closets. Good Lord, what the damn. But anyway. It has these round drawers, and these drawers actually match the kitchen drawers. So let's see what's in this first closet right here. Okay, looks like you have a lot of space for toiletries and stuff like that. And anybody who knows me personally know I buy a lot of soap, deodorant, toothpaste. I buy a lot of stuff. So that's pretty dope right there. Right here we have, oh, we have a hidden restroom. <laughs> I ain't trying to go in there right now. We have a hidden restaurant right here, guys, which is pretty dope. Lots of privacy. And here we have another room right here. Okay. And then we have this other closet. Okay, it's another toiletry closet, it looks like. So there we have it, guys. So that's it. Um, I'm still going to shop around. I'm not impressed. I mean, it's cool. I like it. I like it. But it's almost like going to the dealership, seeing the first nice car and saying, okay, I like that car right there without actually looking at other cars. So this is cool, man. But again, it's, um, I don't know. I would have to really, really, really think about this one right here. I don't know, man. Comment in the comment section down below what you guys think. I do know you guys are going to say this house is way better than the first one that I showed you. Um, but yeah, so this is it guys, this is what it is. Comment down below what you think. Do you choose this house or the first house that I showed you? I pretty much already know what you guys are going to say. And it's all good. It's all good. Let me check this microwave, see if any food in here. It'd be nice to find a house with a refrigerator in it, man. That means I'll have to go out and spend over a thousand bucks on another refrigerator, which I don't mind doing. Um, you know, I'm turn these lights back off. But yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I'm going to continue looking, guys. I'm going to continue looking. This is only the second house. I'm still looking for more. Like this kitchen is, it's, I ain't going to say it's beautiful, but it's a lot different and smaller than my kitchen. 
Again, I like the fact that it sits off of the front room, which means while you're in the front room watching television, you can smell the aroma of what you're cooking. You can never burn anything because you're sitting right there. No stairs, don't have to worry about running up and down the stairs, which is something I do like. So again, it's three beds, two baths. So it's pretty awesome. Okay guys, this has been a very long day. So this is gonna be house number three i'm gonna be looking at guys and i think this is gonna be the last one for today i think tomorrow we're gonna be going into a totally different area um as far as my search is concerned and i'm gonna be bringing you guys along with me every inch of the way and i can't wait because i want to be able to fix this home up with you guys man and just like y'all helped me fix up my last crib so this time we're gonna fix this one up together on a whole different level and we're not gonna stop until we get every room furnished every wall decorated and everything up to par so we're gonna go into the third crib guys so let's go wow guys we are at home number three for the day this one something i was not expecting it's all carpet it's nice though this is very very nice and very very cozy carpet everywhere but boy don't i know the dangers of having carpet in a home especially in texas it's nice but it makes the house so freaking hot man but anyway this is the front room okay i'm going to assume this is the only front room now i'm not gonna lie now this took me out this took me out right here as soon as i walk in the front door this took me out the office is right there the office is right there at the front door this took me out now i do like this i do even though i do like closed in office space because i can work and um you know i can work a lot better when it's when i have like a closed door privacy but this is the front room very very nice front room don't see no tv mounts on the wall not saying there's never been no tv mounts in here but there's none on the wall so we're gonna go right here to this front room which is off to the right okay it's a lot going on off here to the right okay we have a closet right here okay looks like a nice little closet they got filters right there so you know they've been changing the filter in events pretty regularly keep that good air conditioner flowing good First room we have right here off to the right is a, I'm not for sure. Uh, okay, this is the laundry room right here. We also have one, two, three. Okay, we have a whole bunch of shelves right here. Utility space. And we might as well go out to the garage. It's like the other house. One of the first places we went was to the garage. So this is a newer hot water heater, which is really good. Not for sure what that big old gigantic tank over there is. Oh, water filtration. Oh, wow. I've never seen one of those before. Well, I've seen them before, but never installed in the house. Pretty spacious garage. I'm kind of liking this right here. Make sure I turn these lights off. I ain't trying to run nobody's bills up. I was outside earlier, and the air conditioner is actually on, but it doesn't feel like it's on in the house. So maybe they're very conservative and keep the air conditioner at a certain Okay, this is one of the bedrooms, obviously. It's all carpeted, new carpet at that. It's a small bedroom, but it's actually pretty nice. Oh, shoot. Oh, I better not show that. Someone still has stuff in the closet there. That is not cool at all. Anyway, we have a restroom right here off to the side. Another small little restroom off to the side. You know, nothing too big to show you have another walk-in utility closet for I'm, I'm assuming just like bath towels and toiletries and stuff like that you have another smaller bedroom so this is bedroom number two so I'm not going to get too excited about this size of this bedroom until I get through the whole house because the last one I thought the bedrooms were that was it and then I got to the end of the house to my surprise it was a lot bigger than I thought so okay so this is the front room, show you guys from this angle. Front room, you got a nice big window right there. You got another one over there. Curtains, I don't like see-through curtains like that. Again, I like my privacy. 
Over here, we have another huge room, guys. Where's the lights at? Let's get these bad boys on. Here we go. We have another bed. We have another big room right here. So this for me is definitely different. And I see they got something that the other two houses didn't have. I see a freaking refrigerator. And this is obviously gas because not only do I see the stove, I can actually smell the gas when I went into the laundry room. So I have to tell them they're gonna have to bring a gas sniffer in here and check that. So this is another room that's all carpeted, adjacent to the kitchen. Um, but before we do this part, I wanna go, well, hell, we can do it now, the heck with it. The kitchen has a nice, <clears throat> I don't wanna say island, but it looks like, like a bar sitting area. We can set like bar stools out here, a nice kitchen table right there. You have a back door that leads to the backyard. You got these lovely, beautiful counter spaces right here. Again, I don't like gas stoves, but you know, um, it is what it is. You have a uh, still you can do some nice little cooking videos in here. That's what I'm really looking for. I need a nice kitchen background for the cooking videos. You have a microwave above the kitchen. We have a refrigerator right here. And it is, man, they should have had at least one bottle of water in there for your boy. I've been looking at houses all day and I am thirsty. But this is a very nice kitchen, guys. I could actually see myself doing, oh, it's an ice maker on there too. Fancy little refrigerator. Has all kind of little stuff on there. But I can see myself right here. How would that angle look like? What's good, YouTube? This is Damien. I'm back with another cooking video. I hope I don't burn the lasagna. Just kidding, guys. So anyway, that's the kitchen area. Again, I don't want to open that up for the backyard. I don't want to show too much. But from what I'm looking at, it's a very, very nice backyard it's not really crazy big which is good because i hate cutting grass here we go now we talking master bedroom baby all carpeted i wouldn't know how to act if i woke up with a house full of carpet the only room in this house that don't have carpet is the freaking kitchen you got one two room uh windows right here a lot of vent space they want vent crazy in this room right here they want crazy with the vents in this room okay and then we have another nice looking restroom right here off to the side, adjacent to the bedroom, which is very nice. I am digging this one right here. Nice walk-in uh, shower with the sliding door. I kind of like that right there. That's a nice little feature right there. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Like the little marble floor, uh, marble tile on the bathroom floor, the sink. It's uh, a one-person sink again, like the other one I showed you guys, where I said I wish it had like two sinks, one right there. And they actually had enough room for another sink right here. All they do was put it in there. But this is pretty cool. Got the round cabinets. So yeah, guys, um, I'm kind of liking this right here. Um, I really am. I'm not gonna like it. They have another crazy walk-in closet right here, but it looks like this closet is full of stuff. So I'm just gonna point the camera down for right now, guys just to show you guys, you know, but this is a nice little closet space right here. This is very nice little closet. I'm actually really digging this closet right here. So it has a lot of room in it for a lot of clothes and stuff. And Lord knows, I'm not bragging or nothing, but I have a lot of freaking clothes. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of shoes, a lot of clothes. So I need room for everything. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this in the comment section down below so this is my third home viewing this kitchen I'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm digging it i am digging it so again it has everything which means i don't have to go out and spend money on a refrigerator i believe when you move into a house and you spend a lot of money you're supposed to have a refrigerator and all the appliances that's just me that's just how i think comment down below what you guys think i've always been like that you move somewhere it should come with appliances it really should i mean goodness give me something Give me something. But anyway, this is it, guys. And this is pretty much going to be the end of this. Um, I pretty much know which house I'm going to pick, man. Comment down below in the comment section if you guys know which house you think I'm going to pick. One, two, or number three, which is this one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this one off right now. Have to go. Then we have the angles and everything that came with it. And then as you see, we have more boxes. Why are you following me around, homie? Hmm? Why are you following me around? You have anything else better to do, huh? 
Okay, anyway, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve packages. So this is, I'm not for sure which in all these boxes, but I know that there's gonna be stuff associated with like cabinets, counters. I don't think that the marble has arrived. Um, right here we have the angle on the table for some of the angles and stuff. We have our blueprints right here. Everything's gonna be laid out. Blueprint, blueprint of everything of how it's gonna look. Uh, don't wanna show too much right now. But anyway, as I said, this right here is coming out. This is the dishwasher. I've never used that thing before since I've been in this house. It's disgusting, I don't like it. The stove is on order. It will be here on the 29th, which I believe is Friday. Um, so now I have to get ready to empty all of my cabinets out because I, I wasn't gonna move this stuff out until like Monday because I knew I still had a couple days, but unfortunately, well, I'm, no, I'm gonna say fortunately, I can start moving everything out uh, into another room, like the dishes, the silverware, the seasonings, and I got a lot of stuff in here. So it's gonna be nice to be able to open this up and look in here one day and have everything organized because this right here, guys, is not organized. My cabinets are not organized, look at that. Stuff is not organized. But you know what? I'm just gonna take it all out and when I'm able to put everything back, I can organize stuff how I want. So that means I have to move crock pot, my blender, my can opener, my coffee maker, this, I'm gonna to have to move this, and the microwave. I'm not for sure what I'm gonna do with the microwave because as you guys know, when my new stove comes, it's gonna come with a microwave that's gonna be right here. We're gonna take all this out. So what you have here, guys, is all of these cabinets that I'm gonna show you, every single cabinet that I can show you in this camera, every cabinet, even down here. All these cabinets, including this thing right here, it's all leaving the house. The beginning, guys. It's coming through. Bringing all the tools in. It's about to be a brand new kitchen. You good? Brand new kitchen. We got the big tool drawers. Air compressor. I don't know how many guys it's gonna be. Should be like five or six. They got their measuring. Oh yeah, it's about to be on and popping. Oh, look at Dion's little pumpkin he made yesterday, guys. The name is actually faded away now. Say goodbye to the kitchen, guys. Got drills and everything. Yep, they is not playing. They got the table saws. So I'm very, very excited, man. Very excited. God, they got more tools in here. Oh yeah, nail guns. We got the nail guns. Oh, kind of crazy stuff. It's crazy. Yep. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. Cause this is about to be lit. We about to be doing some cooking videos. Yes sir. counter guys oh my god look at that <laughs> there it is 
Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Oh my god, look at this guys. Look at this. Ooh. Let's see how it looks. Ooh. They tore my kitchen up. They tore oh my god. Look at this. They're gutting it. Gutting it like chitlins. Oh, another guy coming. Oh, another one. My knobs. Oh, he's taking my knobs. These are my knobs. He's destroying it again. Oh my God. Another piece. Oh no. He's taking it out of there. Yep. I think so. You're out of front. Oh my God. They tearing it up. They tearing it up. Hey, you. Give me my knobs. No. My knobs. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. Get the new one. The new. All new. Brand new. Brand new. No used. Oh, look down there. Oh my God, look down there. What in the Sam's hell? Let me zoom that in for y'all. Oh my God. Oh, let me get out this man's way. Excuse me, sir. Oh, he's taking my sink. Give me back my sink. Look at this. No joke, man. Tearing it out. It's over with. It's over with. Look at this. Look at that, man. It's a done deal. Oh, my God. Bro, they came in here just ripping stuff out. Oh, shoot. My poor house. Look, they finna rip the whole... Man, bro, they finna take all that out. All of it. All of them, the pipes, everything. I was wondering what they was gonna do with the old cabinets and stuff, but apparently they taking them outside to the truck and breaking them down. Let me make sure ain't nobody. Oh my God. Well guys, things are finally starting to come back together now. The destruction is over with, now it's time for the build up. So without all that talking, I'm just gonna show you guys. This is not gonna be the full kitchen tour right now. This is just to show you guys what's going on. Some of the new cabinets right here. And they're actually building more cabinets down here as we speak so far, as you guys can see. Going really, really well. Remember where they ripped that duct work out right there? They already got the new duct work in there. The hole is already centered. And they're already starting to take the new cabinets around. That's weird because the kitchen already seems like it's brightening up already. So this is really, really awesome. But we have a long way to go. Here's this little clip. And this is this video right here will be a part of them putting everything together but it will not be the official tour the official tour will be very last when the whole entire kitchen is done but i'm gonna be showing you stuff like showing you guys like piece by piece what's going on but i won't do the official finished kitchen tour until everything is done he's actually putting a drawer together right now so him putting a drawer together only means one thing that only means one thing. 
That means they're gonna start putting the cabinets in. the new faucet for the new sink right there this is the one with the spray nozzle like I told you guys um, in the last video the spray nozzle As you can see they have one of the drawers put together already um, yeah, awesome. so you got several boxes right here Two weeks after that, they're gonna come in. We're gonna do that painting on the wall in two weeks. The stove should be here on the 31st, as well as the dishwasher. So we're gonna just do like, we're gonna have everything done in like one week. This, I'm really liking this right here. I'm loving this thing right here. I'm not for sure where this is gonna go. I'm almost thinking that this is this is going to be a part of the sink. I think this is going to be a part of the sink, guys. Don't quote me 100% on it. And the island, I don't see the island yet. Maybe that's going to be shipped tomorrow. Maybe, maybe the island is going to be like a whole separate box. It's not going to be a very, very big island, but it's going to be a really nice size one. And it's going to be one that I can adjust right here where that old green tall cabinet was it's gonna be like a counter they're gonna marble everything which is gonna be pretty cool so yeah, looks good so far guys give me a thumbs up if you think it's coming together pretty good like the cabinets are going back in it's a little close-up for you guys Well guys, it has been a very extremely long day today. I am tired as hell, man. So everybody's finally gone for the day, but we are far from finished. Right there on that very wall. Now all you see is stuff for a countertop right here. Over here, we had a bunch of boxes over here. And all you see now is the drawers finally put together. Um, we have to go by knobs for the cabinets and the drawers because these boxes did not come with freaking drawers as much as this stuff right here costs you would think that it would have came with door knobs but i ain't gonna sit here and cry and complain because it's not about the process it's about the results and the results is getting it done so over here we have this cabinet which has to come out tomorrow and i'm gonna tell you guys why this is where that tall green cabinet was I'm going to quit calling that cabinet ugly because I appreciate everything that I have or had. So what happened was this was supposed to have been 27 inches wide. See this gap right here? Instead, it's only 24 inches wide. So we're missing several inches right here. So they're going to actually, they're not going to tear it out. They're going to take this out the wall tomorrow. The other one is getting built today and they just pick it up tomorrow and it'll be, they will be delivering it when the contractors come back out. So that was like one minor mistake. It's not a big deal. And we have the brand new cabinets up there. Again, um, look at this with the open mind. We don't have the door knobs on them yet. So that's what they're looking like so far. All the way around. And now we're gonna drop down. Even though the sink is not actually installed yet, but they have the plumbing already running through the work of the wood and everything. Um, we're gonna have something right here. I can't remember what it is though. We have this right here. And um, we have a situation with the microwave thing. We got to modify something because the, when we measured the microwave actually would come down too low to the stove, which could damage the microwave. So we got to come up with something else for this, but I'm quite sure whatever we come up with is gonna be pretty awesome. So the next thing that's gonna be coming out the kitchen is this thing right here. 
This is gonna be torn to pieces because I'm having one built with the marble top that matches. So, you guys are probably wondering about the walls. We're going to think, we're thinking about going with like a grayish color for the walls. That's something that's not gonna take place for another week or so. So these walls will be painted. All that stuff up there is all coming out. This big old brown rack up there is all coming out. All of it. Matter of fact, tomorrow it's actually coming down. Um, so it's it's a it's a it's gonna be a whole lot more work, guys, to come. So as you guys see, I do not have a stove for tonight. Um, so it's gonna be eating out for the next couple of days, which your boy don't mind. So this is what it looks like right now, guys. Comment down below if you guys are liking the upgrade so far. Again, we're not even nowhere near finished. We still got a lot of parts right here on the floor. We got parts over against the wall. We got parts all up in the front room against the wall. We have parts everywhere. So we still have a long way to go before this project is actually finished. But I tell you what, the white is actually brightening the kitchen up, which is my whole goal to, you know, brighten the kitchen up for the type of content that I want to do in the kitchen. Um, it took me a long time to get to this point right here. And I do feel truly blessed that I'm even right here. I got this tree right here. That's always dropping all this stuff in the, stuff in the yard, which forces me to come out here three or four times a week. You have to rake up all this mess and it still looks horrible, man. I've been doing all kind of work and stuff, but it's all good. But you know what I decided to do? I'm sick of complaining about it. So you know what I did? Look at this. I'm getting this tree right here. Yeah. In here. Chop the hell down. They're both going to be gone today. Hauled away and everything. So I had to actually move both of my cars out the garage. I'm going to show you. Because yesterday, damn, they got it jacked up in here, man. What up, man? So yesterday I had to move all the car, uh, both, well today I had to move my cars out the garage because yesterday when a guy came in my garage with the ladders and stuff, I was like, bro, hold on for a second. Let me move both of my vehicles because y'all talking about cutting trees down and hauling stuff out. Tell me why I look up and this dude was hauling ladders past my new truck. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, man, she's scared. She got scared to cut out. They say you can always tell how old a uh, tree is by looking at the lines on it. I don't know how true that is. Well, I do want, the one thing that I like about these trees is that when I come out here to barbecue, it's a lot of shade. But what I hate about the trees is all these leaves that keep falling. So they haven't even started on that tree right there yet. Uh, this one looks like it's going pretty, the one that they're doing now look, actually looks like it's going pretty fast. You know what? I may actually climb on top of the house, man, just to give you guys a better view of like, you know what I'm saying? What's going on? Had to pull baby number one out the garage. Uh, look at that motherfucker, it's clean. Clean, clean, clean. Mm. Y'all know I finally drove my Mustang for the first time today in like four months. Cause this what I be on right here. I be on this right here. Ain't nothing like a nice, clean pickup truck. Got the street before I get smashed. Splattered. Hey. 
Okay, okay, okay. My other baby right here. First time in a few months I pulled this thing out, man. I don't know if I showed y'all a while back what I did to my rim, but I was acting a fool one day and scratched the hell out of my rim. These rims ain't even a year old, man. I probably ain't even got a thousand. Literally, I probably don't even have a thousand miles on these rims yet. Look at this. Jacked the whole rim off. Somebody said, oh, you can get some fingernail polish or something like that. I'm like, man, I'm not doing that, man. But this car is going bye-bye in a way. It just sits in a garage. And to be honest with you, I love this car because this is my dream car. But to be honest with you, I mean, I'm sure somebody else would enjoy this car as opposed to it just sitting in the garage rotting in the way because that's exactly what happened. I was actually shocked that when I pressed the button, it started right up after, I said three months. It might've been like three months and two weeks or three months and three weeks or something like that since I drove it. But I'm surprised this bad boy even started up when I pressed the button. But it's all good, it's a beast. So guys, I'm on top of the world, man. I'm on top, I'm on top. This kid on top of the roof of the garage. So basically had this guy, you know, like liability purposes. So I had this guy, like man from up here I mean I'm literally on top of the roof bro I can see in everybody's backyard but yeah that tree right there I'm, I'm gonna zoom in for you guys that tree is a freaking headache man that tree makes all the mess in my backyard it's like no matter how many times I clean it up break it up I get up the next day it's all over the ground so basically, these leaves right now on this tree are all green, which means when you cut the tree down, too many leaves shouldn't fall because the ones that's dead already fell off the tree. Well guys, the backyard is finally getting done. This is actually a pile of leaves and stuff from all the cleaning. As you see, besides the kitchen being getting done, we've been doing the backyard. And I gotta say, my backyard has never looked this open before. And I'm sorry for the quality, it is very dark out here. As you can see, this is a tree right here that's been in this yard since the beginning, way before I moved into this house. So this tree has finally been cut down and this tree has caused me a lot of problems in the past with all the leaves, as you guys can see right here on the ground, that's always falling. And so the guys left one of the, well, he actually left all of his ladders here because they're gonna come back tomorrow. And the tree that I'm actually waiting to get cut down is this one right here. This tree right here, causes a lot of issues as you can see the leaves on it are green but as they turn brown they start falling and stuff and making such a huge mess to where it's hard for me to even barbecue out here look at that branch right there But I never do that way. You know, sometimes you can like
Check it out, guys. The whole tree is now gone. I had to use my phone for this part right here. My camera's in the house. Look at this. It's nothing but a tree stump now. Look at this. I'm finally finna get my house back. All these tools and stuff is actually leaving out today. These are right here was from the one cabinet that, that they put in my kitchen. It was tall enough, but it wasn't wide enough. So they had to re-break that cabinet down, repackage it up. And it's a lot of parts to it because there's like two doors right there. And then over here, there is more parts that goes with that cabinet. But I don't really like, I don't have any use for it. And so since it was already cut down to size, I can't really get any money back for it. So I'm gonna let these guys just haul that away with them because I don't have any use for it. This was that big old stand that they had. They had to repackage it up and get it up out of here. Table saw. This is the last piece of the counter that was in the kitchen. I mean, piece of the counter that they were actually cutting to put in my kitchen on the counter and stuff like that. So everything is gonna be hauled away. Thank God it went smooth. Most importantly, I'm really grateful that no one got injured all right guys so here we go so the counter this right here is one of the counters when you first come into the kitchen area the first thing that you meet is this counter right here i was said that it would be a nice setup for like some flowers in the kitchen but you know what i'm going to do with this right here since the kitchen has been, re has been redone and the holidays are approaching you know what i'm gonna put right here i am going to put a small flat screen television right there so that way when i'm doing my cooking videos or if i'm just in the kitchen cooking without even doing a cooking video i can actually have a television in here so it's pretty nice so as yesterday they completed the knobs and everything so the drawers are very very spacious it looks very very nice i mean i couldn't really ask for any better man any better look at this man look at all of this cabinet space let me step back so you guys can see it that is what you see when you first walk in the kitchen area so this is they really went all out for this right here they really went all out and now this one right here where that big old green yes this kitchen is pretty big guys it's bigger than what i thought it was um and i'm gonna show you guys what i moved out of here to make more space in the kitchen for me this cabinet right here is beautiful man beautiful look at this right here now when i open this bottom you guys are going to be like oh my god that is some room on steroids i got plenty of shelves right here for like pots and pans canned goods and stuff like that or check this out open up the bottom section voila look at this one two three four four humongous storage spaces right there at the bottom part man i can put like I said pots and pans up here, but I can put like the bigger pots and pans down here. That is a lot of freaking room, man. They really went all out for this kitchen right here. They really went all out. And I'm gonna tell you, I am extremely excited. I'm so excited. I might be sipping on that right there tonight, a little bit Stella Rose. Now, before I show you guys the refrigerator, you know, this is the same refrigerator everything has a process everything has a process the refrigerator is coming soon i do not have it now however i do have the brand new stove the dishwasher is getting installed as we sleep uh, as, as we speak the electrician just stepped outside for a second so as i showed you yesterday beautiful cabinets going around i don't know if i open them up for you guys but i'm gonna open one up for you might as well open this one up too let you guys get a gander at that looks nice the next cabinet is on the opposite side of the refrigerator look how much space i have in there lots of room lots of room now most of the workers is out my house i only have one worker here right now and that's the electrician 
Look at that. That's the corner cabinet right there. A lot of room back there. A lot of deep room. I don't think I opened the cabinets up in the other video I did yesterday. Look at that. Look at that counter space on there, guys. It looks beautiful. Beautiful. Up here again, you have this that opens up. You have this wall back here above the stove that just looks really, really nice, man. I'm really, really appreciating this look. These cabinets over here, I'm not gonna open them up because you guys kind of get the picture. They actually ran this counter, the Grant Knight wall, whatever you call it, all through the back right here. Look at that. As you see, this is electrician is here right now because he's about to connect the sink and got the garbage disposal right there. So the sink should be put together today and hopefully I can cook a meal in my house because I haven't eaten at home in about a week now. And so that right there is that. Now check this out. The newest appliance to the house is the stove. This is electric stove and it has one, two, three, four, five. It has five cooking areas on this stove. Now there's a little glare bouncing back because of the way that the sun is shining today. But this stove just arrived today. It's kind of black and stainless. Very nice. Everything is brand new. And open the oven up. This is one of those ovens right here that when you close it, where my oven didn't have, y'all know I have a little one who runs around here. This has an oven lock on it. So if I'm cooking in here, my son can't come in here and open the oven. And also this oven comes with another special feature that I found out about yesterday, that this has an air fryer automatically built into the stove. Now, how dope is that? An air fryer that's already built in the stove, man. So I haven't, the only thing I did was, uh, after it was plugged up, I actually turned it on. GE, General Electric. There's all of my instruction manuals right here and all that good stuff. I got brackets right there. So that is the stove right there, guys. Comment down below if you're loving that stove right there, man. The stove looks extremely nice right there. Especially when they pulled that other one out today, I was like, yes! And check it out, man. Now, for the next appliance, we have a brand new General Electric dishwasher. Check it out. I haven't even opened this thing up yet. Um, electrician is actually, let me see if I can open it. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Oh, stop the press. I ain't gonna open it all the way up because the paperwork right here. But anyway, brand new dishwasher. As you see, it's still inside the package. Everything is still right there. We have the sink faucet that's sitting on top of it, waiting on them to install the faucet. So that's going to be pretty dope right there. And check this out right here. They ran the counter from the sink all the way over here. And then they ran it up the wall about right here. And I'm going to tell you guys why it stopped right there. And it's going to make sense. Remember yesterday, this was all gutted out. I said I used to keep like my dish liquid up there, dish detergent, incense. Now I can keep flowers up there and it's gonna be so freaking beautiful, man. So let me step back. Now, remember I had that other green humongous island sitting right here and I wanted it moved. Look how much room I have in my kitchen, guys. Imagine that, three days ago, in the video, I made a mistake earlier and I apologize. I said five days ago is when they started. They actually started this project Monday, guys. And today is only Wednesday and it's 90% done. Look at all the, please excuse my uh, kitchen. It is pretty messy right now. There's stuff everywhere. But look at the size and room that I have in this kitchen now. Maybe if I turn one of these lights off, it'll help. Oh, there we go. Look how much room I actually have, guys. This is a huge upgrade. This is a huge upgrade, man. This is a humongous upgrade from that green that I had. You know what I should have did, guys? I actually should have filmed um, when the kitchen was still green, but I have so many videos up on my YouTube channel of me cooking in this kitchen that you guys can always go back to those videos and compare the old kitchen to the new kitchen. This is more modern for me. This is a little bit more like it. By the way, you guys noticed before the contractors left, 
they was nice enough to go ahead and drill this hole in here for the plumbing guy that's going to be installing this sink sometime today. Everything should be done today. Um, and when I say everything, it doesn't mean that we are completely finished. But I want to go with a color like this right here. Why? For obvious reasons, it's the color of the stove. So I want to go with something with that color right there. Um, as you guys see, the kitchen is extremely clean. Um, this is your first time actually seeing the video as this, the kitchen as it's cleaned up. I have items sitting up here that's not going to be here. Again, I just got back from the store shopping, so I haven't had a chance to put things away. Um, the sink is now installed. The faucet and everything is installed. Part that you guys didn't see yesterday. They got the sprayer, it stretches down. Got the spray nozzle. So I can spray my meat off real good. Those chitlins and those greens and stuff. They connected the garbage disposal. So we got that all hooked up and ready to go. And also I went ahead and re-put stuff back on the counter last night. I put my air fryer right here, which I've never even so much as turned this thing on yet. Don't even know how to use it. I put crock pot number one and crock pot number two on here. Um, I came over here. I went ahead and put my, co my uh, coffee maker back, which is cured. I put my can opener back, my blender, my big old cup. I end up using this microwave because right now they cannot install the microwave above the stove like I told you guys that they were going to and I'm explaining to you why and it's going to make sense. I put my blender right here, my old coffee pot right there, my waffle maker, my, that's another coffee pot. I don't know why I got that iron sitting there. But anyway, this is the dishware set I went with. This was really, really cheap. This was only $49 at Walmart. This came with 12 pieces, everything that I actually need for the cooking videos. And then I don't want to have like a red skillet, a, a blue pot and a green pan. So everything is color coordinated. Like I said, uh, it was um, very inexpensive. It wasn't expensive, but like I said, 49 bucks and stuff plus taxes. And as you see, this is the easy non-stick performance three times better. So this will go well inside of the dishwasher, which I have not turned on yet, but I do have certain things with the dishwasher for like a starter kit, Cascade Platinum, which I could use this stuff and I cannot wait to use it. Now, speaking of this, man, I don't know if I turned, yeah, I think I did that for yesterday. Now, we had to put the vent back up here because as you see, this wall right here, the microwave would have actually came down about right there. You see how far that is from the stove? It would have caused serious damage to that microwave. So we decided not to go with the microwave above the stove, which I am 100% fine with that, guys. So anyway, I'm just going to be using my same microwave. The only odd thing about it is it has like this burgundy color. But you know what? It's fine. This is a kitchen. It's not a dining room. It's not like company come over. They're going to be sleeping in my kitchen and, and all that good stuff. This is like, this is my area right here. This is my area. This is my area right here. So again, um, let's check on my messages. Okay, so people have been asking me, Mr. Cryer, how do you do your kitchen floor? What ideas do you have to make your floor shine? So what I'm gonna do guys, is I'm gonna go ahead and put all of my food away, break my drinks down and put them in a refrigerator. And then I'm going to turn the camera back on and I'm going to finish the video by doing this small floor tutorial for you guys. Thank you guys for asking about it. I actually did a tutorial last year, similar to this in my front room of how I polish my floors, but I'm gonna do this video for you guys, for the people who don't know. That way you can quit going out, spending money on buffers, contractors to come in to buff your kitchen and your floor and stuff. It's real simple and it takes maybe 10 minutes. So I'm gonna get this stuff put away and I'm gonna see you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys, we have the food put away. And again, we still have more food shopping to do. And I'm gonna show you why, because I still have a gap in my refrigerator. Um, so this cabinet right here, I went ahead and started putting a few items in this cabinet. It's not a whole lot, just, you know, some items to go ahead and fill the space. Of course, I got the oatmeal in here. Um, I need to go buy like a ton of these noodles right here. I don't know about you guys, I grew up off this stuff right here. 
I'm going to get like two cases of it and fill this whole entire shelf up right here with it. There's nothing wrong with having like a lot of dry food. So I'm going to go to Dollar Tree. I'm going to do a vlog for you buying cabinet snacks like dry foods because you never know in the event of an emergency. Oh, I'm blurred up. Here we go. In the event of an emergency, they shut stores and stuff down. So there is nothing wrong with being prepared. So I still have all of this room down here. So we're going to be getting everything filled up but it's gonna be one step at a time because I'm only one person and I can't do everything at once so I have my paper plates over here where I used to keep them anyway and I put some stuff away that just didn't look right up here on the counter for instance like the other white coffee pot put it away the waffle maker I put it away I don't really use that stuff so I got my little bowls right here I have my coffee above the microwave we're sitting on the microwave um, I have not opened up the dish set yet but I'm sorry, the um, the uh, cookware set yet, but I will be opening it up later on. As you see, I did put the tables on top of, the chairs on top of the tables. I'm saying everything backwards, man. I put the chairs on top of the tables, so that way I'm able to go ahead and do this whole entire area right here. So, as I said earlier, I'm going to take some of this stuff right here, because again, people are spending a lot of money for buffers this is like the new age you don't need a buffer anymore man you really don't this stuff works really fast and no this is not a sponsorship guys this is what I do so all you do is called quick shine hardwood floor luster it's so easy all I do is shake it up shake it up real good I have one of these mops that you can pick up from Walmart it has two sides it has a blue side and it has like well, it's a white side, but it's really dingy and everything right now for multiple uses. But just real quick, guys, I want to show you what this floor looks like now. See all the scrapes and stuff from them working on the floor and doing all the stuff that they did in the kitchen. It looks really, you know, it doesn't look too bad, but it's bad enough to where I feel like it's time to go ahead and throw a little shine on it. And I'm going to actually be holding the camera while I'm doing this. It's very easy because I need one hand to squeeze the contents of the bottle onto the floor and then i can put the bottle down and use my same hand to use this bad boy right here to start cleaning up so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start one area at a time for you guys now the way that this is going to look on the floor it takes 15 to 20 minutes for it to dry guys the way that it's going to look on the floor is exactly the way it's going to look once it dries up how dope is that so here we go we're going to just Squirt some over here in this area, all over here. Put that down right there. Grab my little mop right here. And just really simple. Just take it. What am I doing this right? There we go. Take it. You don't have to put no pressure on it. You don't have to apply any pressure to it. Just simply, just, I mean, it's real simple. Mop and shine, just like it says on the thing. I got some up under the stove, I'm not to clean that up. But yeah, it's real simple. Again, guys, what I said earlier is true. The way that it looks on the floor, once it dries, it's going to look the same way. It's not gonna look any different. Oh, 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 there's my bottom of my dishwasher. It's okay. Little piece I need to put back up there real quick. Now, I did kind of mess up right here. I got a little messy with the stove area which I need to get that off there immediately. Meaning I'm gonna have to step in it to actually clean it up, but it's all good. You don't need a whole lot, like one bottle will last you months, right? This bottle right here, like I used this bottle like five months ago for my front room floor. And as you guys can see, the front room floor needs to be done again, but you don't really need a lot of it unless it rains outside and like I don't take my shoes off when I come in the house so it kind of scuffs up quick so here so look at this guys this is the shiny side it's going to look just like this when it dries I promise you and this is the side that's not done step back so you guys can see that that's the shiny side right there and this is the side that's not done it looks beautiful don't it I need to get some paper towels and clean the stove area so I'm gonna shut this off for a second while I clean that Okay, guys, as you see, I got the stuff cleaned up from the stove. I had it on the base of the stove and up under the stove, which was a mistake. I was kind of sloppy a little bit with it. So that's it. You don't have to do a whole lot, guys. So if you 
are a homeowner or even if you're not a homeowner and you live in an apartment or a house with hardwood floors you could actually make it look really nice and shiny without having to go out and spend a lot of money this bottle of hardwood uh, quick shine floor luster only cost me six dollars and some change guys from walmart six dollars and some change from walmart just to make your floor look extremely shiny this stuff right here so if you have guests come over for the holidays people who haven't been over your house in a long time this is a way to make an extremely good impression by going out spending six dollars and some change just to make your floor look good i mean it i mean it it really makes a statement guys again it only takes me a few minutes when i turned this camera off it was at like five minutes in a couple seconds and i turned the camera off so i could clean up under the stove area where i sprayed too much at but you can see we're only two minutes almost two minutes into the second part of this video and the floor is almost done that's what i said this is how long it actually takes guys it takes very short amount of time it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to even do the floor it, I mean, it really doesn't. So for this small amount that you spend on this stuff, it's extremely worth it. I know people spend money, more money on BS, you know, that only lasts like a day or so, if even a couple of hours. But something like this, this floor shine could last you for several weeks or several months, especially if you don't have kids. If you have kids, it's gonna last, but it's not gonna last a long amount of time as it would if you were by yourself because kids like, you know how kids are. Kids like to run. Like if you say, hey, go get me a bottle of water out the refrigerator. They don't walk to the kitchen, they run. Well, at least mine do. They don't walk. Y'all know how kids are. So this stuff actually lasts you for a long time. So look at this, guys. 90% of the floor is done. Look at this, it's crazy. 90% of the floor done. 80 percent the other 20 percent look it's raw so i'm gonna step back a little bit and spray a little bit right here and finish this area and it's all done it's just like that guys in under 10 minutes and i'm actually doing this while i'm holding the vlog camera in one hand guys if you have a bad back or something you're still able to do this like i said there is no you don't have to put any force into it you don't have to put any pressure. You don't have to press the mop down hard. Now, if you don't want to go get one of these little mop things right here, that's cool. You could actually use a regular mop, but the mop has to be dry. You can't have any water on the mop, just a regular dry mop. And here's the good thing about this. Once you're done with this right here, you can actually take this little piece off right here where my shoe is at and throw it in the wash machine. Or you can simply hand wash it. You can simply hand wash it and uh, put it in the dryer for a couple hours or hang it outside and voila, it's all done. That right there, that whole entire kitchen floor is done guys in just under 10 minutes. Look at this, look at that. You cannot tell me that is not a beautiful shine. Again, when this floor is dry, they say 15 minutes to 45 minutes. So I'm gonna bank on 45 minutes because I don't have a ceiling fan in the kitchen 